so many people need help with factoring. So if I wanted to factor this um, trinomial here, right? The first step, always, either when looking at factoring, simplifying, solving, anytime, see what we can factor out, all right? So you always wanna look at that. That's always like the first step. See how we can simplify the problem before you start doing anything. Well, I look at each one of these terms, all right, and I notice they're all divisible by five, meaning five divides into all of them. So what I can do is I can divide out a five, or we say factor out a five. I also notice that they all have a B term. So therefore, I, I can also <laughs> divide out a B. So when I factor out, divide out, factor out a five B, what I'm left with is a B squared minus um, six B plus nine. All right, and the way just to check to make sure you factored it out correctly is just kind of go back and do your uh, distributive property and make sure that 5b times b squared is 5b cubed, 5b times negative 6b is negative 30b squared, and 5b times uh, 9 is 45b. Okay, we got that? Yeah. Then here I have a trinomial. Well, the way I always like to do my trinomials is remember it's in the form of ax squared plus bx <coughs> plus c, it's a quadratic. So you just do a times c, since my a is a one, don't worry about this variable. The variable is a b, I know, but we represent it as an x in my quadratic um, form. But a is one times nine, so this is really a times c, which is one times nine, which is a nine. And then my b for my quadratic, all right, I know my variable in this problem is b, but we usually use x, okay? Um, but my b in this one is a negative six. So I just ask myself the very questions. What two numbers multiply to give me nine, but then add to give me a negative six? And you can say that would be a um, negative three and a negative three. So I can say b minus three times b minus three. So to factor out this problem, that would be factored out. Yes? Can you also do b minus a squared? And then to simplify it, yes, you could go ahead and write this out um, as b minus three, you know, squared two. But since we've been dealing so much and freak out with as far as like linear factors, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. You'll notice that this also has a multiplicity of two or multiplicity. But that's just factoring out, just to practice. What if you put the b next to the five? Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. 